Hey, my name's James Silkerson, and I help entrepreneurs grow their business. So if that's you, you're an entrepreneur, a business owner, coach or a consultant of any sort, smash the like button on this video because that will help the YouTube algorithm get more views on this video for us and subscribe to this channel. Now, you're watching this video because you want to know about the recovery loan scheme. Well, I'm going to tell you everything about the recovery loan scheme in this video that I know currently. Now, I have so much information on business funding, business growth and stuff like that. And the recovery loan scheme is something that Rishi Sunak um, announced in the budget in the last few days, depending on what time you're watching this video, right? Now, what the, uh, the, the, the recovery loan scheme is there for is to replace two things. One is the bounce back loan scheme. And the bounce back loan scheme has been a lifeblood uh, to business owners. If you've taken a bounce back loan, you need to watch this video to the end because I've got some very, very good news for you. Uh, it's also to replace the C-bills loans. And the C-bills loans were uh, generally larger loans uh, up to many millions of pounds for medium-sized businesses, really. Um, and, and so this will replace those. So the bounce back loans and the C-bills scheme are going to come to an end as expected on the 31st of March 2021. So this year, this March, I'm filming this in March right now. And so they're going to come to an end. Uh, and then there's a little bit of a, a short break. And on the 6th of April, the 6th of April, we're going to launch the recovery loan scheme. So what is that? Well, it's actually very similar to the bounce back loan scheme and the C bills. But there are some key differences. The key differences are the interest rate. Firstly, so first and foremost, the interest rate is going to be a different rate. So with a bounce back loan and C-bills, you're looking at around 2.5%. With these loans, they're still very cheap. They're going to be 6%. With the bounce back loans and C-bills loans, um, the government actually guaranteed a lot of the loan. More so with the bounce back loan, 100% they guaranteed. And the C-bills, uh, they had a guarantee with it as well. With the recovery loan scheme, uh, the, the amount that the government guarantee is slightly less. They're going to guarantee 80%. So if for some reason you weren't able to pay this back, you would definitely need to be liable for 20% of that. Now, a good thing about the recovery loan scheme is that they can't make you, uh, they, well, you're not personally, you don't have to put any security up if you're borrowing less than £250,000, right? So with a normal business loan, you might need to put your house up, you might need to put um, a charge on your business. There's various different things that you might need to do that mean the risk is in your core. If you're borrowing less than £250,000, and I'd imagine most of my audience, uh, that's you guys, then you don't actually have to put any security up uh, for these loans, which is good. And even if you took more, because you can borrow up to £10 million, uh, you cannot, uh, they don't uh, take your property that you live in as security, right? So they can't take the first property that you live in as security, which is really, really important, right? Because look, what's happened with this last year isn't our fault as business owners, right? It's not generally our fault. And so uh, these recovery loans are to get you going again, right? The goal is to, to get you going. So I just want to quickly check if I've missed anything off uh, an article that I've written on this here. Uh, so the length of the loans, that's important, right? That's an important one here. So how long are these loans? Well, bounce back loans were initially five years. They've gone to 10 years now. These loans are starting off at six years. I think they probably will get extended the length of time. But initially, as it stands, you've got to go into this knowing the worst case scenario. And the worst case scenario is you've got six years to pay it back, right? Six years. So still a decent, healthy length of time. And the interest rate as well uh, is very, very low. Uh, you don't have to personally guarantee it under 250. Um, and so uh, who could apply for a bounce back? Uh, not for a bounce back loan, a recovery loan. Uh, <laughs> loan scheme loan. <laughs> it's difficult, all these different names. Uh, so who can apply to them? Well, uh, pretty much anyone, right? So here's the rules. Uh, your business needs to be viable, right? So they're not, they're, they're going to actually look into this a little bit more than the bounce back loans, but your business needs to be viable. So if you got funding and things were back to normal, would your business survive? And hopefully that's a yes, 
because you need to have a business, obviously. There's no point keeping your business going if it wouldn't work anyway. And so if your business will succeed and there's a good chance of it succeeding, then you can apply. Other things that we need to look at, have you been impacted by the coronavirus pandemic? Yeah, you have, right? Nearly every business has been impacted by that via lockdowns or maybe your customers have got less money to spend. Pretty much everyone's been impacted by this as a business owner. So that would probably be a uh, uh, good uh, and you don't need to and you can't be in insolvency proceedings, right? So you can't be your company can't be in the process of being liquidated. However, look, there's a good chance that um even if your business is insolvent, it doesn't say your business is insolvent, it means if it's going through the proceedings. So if your business isn't uh, solvent, you will still be able to get one of these, which is really good. Now, here's a very good thing about the recovery loan scheme. Now, with the bounce back loans, unfortunately, a lot of people missed out because they weren't trading before the 1st of March 2020. As it stands right now, and I've looked everywhere for this stuff. So please, please, please don't shoot me if this has changed. As it stands right now, there is no mention on the government website and no mention anywhere that I can find that you needed to have been trading prior to that date, which is potentially a lifeline for all those people that missed out because they started their business after the 1st of March 2020. So if that's you... This is good news, really, really good news. And this might be finally that opportunity for you to get some funding to keep your business going. So fingers crossed that that, that stays like that, right? On the government website right now, there is no mention of the dates. On the bounce back loan site, there is mention of the dates, right? So that's important and I hope that sticks there. Um, so what's gonna happen with bounce back loans and C bills, they're gonna end. Right, so those will end March 31st uh, and then it will move on within a few days. We will move on to this recovery loan scheme. Now, bounce back loan people, if you've had a bounce back loan or you've had a C-bills loan, I've got some brilliant news for you guys. You can get a second loan. Now, with bounce back loans, with the bounce back loans, if you initially took out some money and you didn't take enough initially, and you were eligible, you were able to top it up. Now, with these loans, even if you took the maximum amount, you're able to take a second loan out. And I think that's incredible because Rishi is saying that business owners, it's not your fault what's happened. You need funding to get yourself back on track. Right, because think about this. Imagine you were a retail store. Imagine you were a retail store, and just before Christmas, you bought all the stuff to sell for winter. You haven't been open, so you probably got that stock sitting there, and now we're in a, nearly in the spring, right? And so you would have needed to sell that stock in order to recoup some money to be able to buy your spring stock. You're not going to sell coats and hats and gloves in April, right? And so that is a lifeline for a lot of business owners. And my suggestion is that once these loans launch on April the 6th, that you should look at applying for one. I said this with the bounce back loans as well, whether you think you need it or not. And so my reasoning for that is that you get the funding and if you don't need it, if you don't need it, you just give it back right? There's nothing to stop you doing that. Yeah, there might be some small fees and stuff like that, but it's better to have the funding because you don't know what's coming up later this year, right? None of us do. We can't predict what's going to happen. So what we can do is put our business in the strongest possible position. And so if you haven't got a bounce back loan and you're watching this when they're still, uh, still around, go and get one right? Go and get one. And if you haven't uh, got a bounce back loan and you've been rejected or declined, I've got a video on my channel about that. So do go and, uh, uh, and let me know. Now, this recovery scheme, I think is incredible. I want to know what you guys think about it. So comment below. Tell me, do you think this is a good thing? a bad thing or are you sitting on the fence about it? Are you intending to apply for a loan? I want to know all about it. I want to get to know you guys more on the channel uh, and make sure you have uh, a, a moment to smash 
that subscribe button and hit the bell notification and like this video, guys. It means a great deal for me. And if you could do me one thing, right? These loans, this funding, the grants, all of this stuff's great. However, look, let's be honest. This is the last funding you're gonna get in your business. And so what's important right now is that you learn to get and keep customers. So around this video in the description, is a link where I wanna give you a copy of my new book, Expert Mastery. I'll ship that out to you straight away. Um, you need to pay for the shipping, we'll pay for the book uh, and all the printing costs. We lose money on it, but I know that getting customers is the most important thing that's gonna to happen to your business for the rest of this year. And so grab a free copy of that book and it will explain my business accelerator methodology. So go and do that in the description. I'll also, uh, I have a real summary of these recovery loan schemes. Um, I've written a blog post on that already. So in the description of this video as well is a link to the blog post with all the links and everything you could ever need. So click in the description. That's where all the good stuff is. Go and check it out. Smash subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.